Hi there, what do we have? We have uh, something called the cell cycle. What is it? Well, it's like a clock face. It's a period of time. It's a cycle that goes round and round and round and round. And during each turn of the cycle, a cell divides. One cell becomes two. The next turn, two become four. Four become eight, sixteen, and so forth. And so, uh, a couple things I want you to get from this diagram. I will not be asking you one thing on your test about G1, S, and G2, but those three add up to what is called interphase. Interphase, the longest part of the cell cycle. And there's some good stuff happening during interphase. We'll talk about some of that as time goes on. Uh, but then there's the mitotic phase, which includes something called mitosis and cytokinesis. I'm just going to call it mitosis for now. And so, there is uh, <coughs> interphase, mitosis. Interphase mitosis. Interphase mitosis. Every time the cycle goes around one turn, one cell becomes two. Let's learn a little bit about the details of the cell division part. Uh, here we have diagrams from your book showing a cell transitioning from interphase into mitosis. You said it doesn't say mitosis. It says prophase. Mitosis is divided into four named phases. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. So what happens as a cell transitions from interphase into prophase? Well, we can see it from this diagram, some of it anyway. We can see the chromosomes that are unwound and just kind of diffuse. They wind up. They coil up. They tighten up to where you can see them with a compound light microscope, the kind we use in biology lab. And so uh, here we have represented four chromosomes. Four what? Duplicated chromosomes. Uh, in our cells, of course, our body cells, that wouldn't be four. It would be what? 46 duplicated chromosomes. And one thing that it doesn't show here too well is that the nuclear envelope is breaking down. It's dissolving. It's disappearing. So chromosomes, they coil up to where you can see them with a microscope, and the nuclear envelope disappears. Now what happens as we transition to metaphase? Well, metaphase, wow, what are all these things? They're uh, called spindle fibers, or, uh, or um, a spindle. And the uh, spindle fibers, uh, they grab onto the chromosomes, and uh, they take them, they pull them to what's called the equator of the cell. And so then they're all lined up. They're not just in a row like this. They're on a plane. I mean, the cell is, cell is three-dimensional. And so the chromosomes would be all on the equatorial plane in the middle of the cell. You can see that in the diagram down here. Uh, over here, uh, we see, uh, we see a, a real prophase. We'll look at the pictures. In metaphase, the chromosomes are lined up at the equator of the cell. You say, what in the world is this up here? Well, this is, of course, a diagram. I call it pipe cleaner uh, mitosis. And uh, for your next test, uh, you'll be learning a diagram that kind of is even simpler than the pipe. It's going to be pipe cleaner uh, mitosis, a simpler diagram than we see here. Uh, you'll have to uh, uh, do that for the next test for five points. So, uh, what do we have? Prophase, metaphase. What comes after metaphase? Well, it's anaphase. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. What's happening in anaphase? Oh my goodness, the sister chromatids are what? Boop, pulled apart. Yes, they are. They're going in opposite directions, except they've been promoted. Uh, they're no longer uh, called chromatids. It says down here that each one has become a full-fledged chromosome. But what kind of chromosome? Uh, duplicated or unduplicated? Well, they're unduplicated. And so that affects how we count chromosomes. Let's back up one picture. How many chromosomes in this picture right here? Let's count them. Let's see. It's kind of hard. One, two, three, four. Four duplicated chromosomes. Yes, indeed, four duplicated chromosomes. But as we go to this picture, how many chromosomes are in this picture? Not four. It's eight, right? Except they're unduplicated. So we've gone from four duplicated to eight unduplicated. They're being pulled to opposite sides of the parent, opposite ends of the parent cell. And so that is anaphase, transitioning then to the fourth phase 
of mitosis telophase. Uh, several things going on here as we transition from anaphase now into telophase. One you can see is the cell is dividing. There's a pinching in uh, of the parent cell to form the two daughter cells. So the cell is dividing. That's one thing. A second thing is you see a brand new nuclear envelope forming in each daughter cell. Uh, so all of those again, let's see, the cell is dividing, it's pinching in. Secondly, a brand new nuclear envelope is forming in each daughter cell. And the third thing is not too well represented here, you can't represent everything, but the chromosomes are starting to unwind, uncoil, so you can't see them very well uh, anymore. And so, uh, and so uh, uh, when all that's done, you have uh, the cell is divided and so forth, you have how many daughter cells? two daughter cells, and each one of those daughter cells enters what phase of the cell cycle? Well, they're back into interphase. So round and round we go. Interphase mitosis, interphase mitosis, and so forth. So um, well, let's, uh, let's talk now about cytokinesis a few minutes. Uh, cytokinesis, what in the world? Besides being a big long word, word what does that mean? Well, uh, to uh, explain what cytokinesis is, we need to tighten up the definition of mitosis. Because you see, mitosis is not cell division. It's sort of kind of used that way, and lots of times that's sort of what you mean, cell division. But technically speaking, mitosis is not cell division. So, well, what is it? Well, mitosis is technically division of the nucleus. The nucleus. And, uh, okay. Uh, well, what's cytokinesis then? Well, cyto, we've seen that. Cytoplasm, cytosol. Anytime you see cyto, you should think what? Cell. So cytokinesis is division of the cell. Uh, mitosis is division of the what? Nucleus. Cytokinesis, division of the cell. You think, Good night. Why do we have to mess with two different words? They both happen together, right? Well, not always. We'll see some examples later where they do not. And so there's a reason for having the two different terms. What's mitosis again? Division of the nucleus as opposed to cytokinesis. Division of the cell. Let's take a quick look at the differences in cytokinesis in plants and animals. First, animals. Here we have a uh, picture of an actual animal cell dividing. What's happening? Well, the same thing we saw in that last uh, picture, uh, diagram and so forth. The cell is pinching in. The parent cell is pinching in. It's actually pulled in from the inside. It's pinching in. Well, how can that happen? Well, it's because of, you know, we already know that the, uh, the outside boundary of an animal cell is what again? The plasma membrane. And the plasma membrane we have learned is what? It is flexible. Yes, it is. It is flexible. The plasma membrane is flexible. And so it can pinch in, which is uh, different from plant cells, because plant cells can't pinch. And why can't plant cells pinch? It's because they have a rigid outer boundary called a what? A cell wall. A cell wall. Cell walls don't pinch. So what happens different? Well, you don't have to know all the terminology down here. Uh, but you need to simply know, for our purposes, that a new cell wall forms to divide the parent cell into two daughter cells. And obviously, some new plasma membrane has to form as well. So animal cells, we have what? We got a pinch. It pinches into uh, for cytokinesis. Whereas in a plant cell, plant cells don't pinch. Plant cells form a new cell wall, a new plasma membrane to divide the parent cell into two daughter cells. All right, that's it for this one.